I'm so excited. Springfield finally has a vegan restaurant. I thought you'd enjoy this, Lisa. You deserve to have the food that only you like. Why are you both kissing up to Lisa? And for your information, we are not kissing up. By the way, Lisa, have you picked a subject yet for your most interesting person I know paper? Aha! Uh -huh. Mystery solved. The most interesting person I know is a white male. That'll go over great in today's climate. I hope you like blowback. I've made my decision. Frank! I'm writing about Professor Frank! Say, uh, can you tell me if I came in second or third? It's best not to proceed down that road. Fine. Now I can end this little vegan charade. Hmm. Professor Frank, I'd love to know how you got started in science. My parents had great chemistry. Uh, no love, but they were chemists. The only way I could get noticed was through science and changing the pitch of my voice so they couldn't help but notice me. All this will change, for I have been developing my own cryptocurrency. Oh, I have no idea what that means. People think I'm a nerd, but I'm actually super cool. That's why I'm here to talk about the really cool subject of distributed consensus-based cryptocurrency. For cryptocurrency to work, we need a record of every transaction that occurs. These are recorded in what's called a distributed ledger. When you use the currency, the transaction is recorded in the ledger. And when one ledger book gets filled up, we add to a chain of previous books. That's the blockchain. Later, glitches. So will Frankcoin finally be the invention that makes me rich? Or I will... Frankcoin, the brainchild of longtime bachelor of science, Professor Frank, is making a mint. Frankcoin was just rated the world's most stable financial instrument, beating gold, the renminbi, and roadside corn. Another billionaire? How did he make his money? Paraffin? Castor oil? Whalebone corsets for the woman who dares? Actually... Cryptocurrency. This new currency has made Professor Frank the richest man in Springfield. Wait, are you saying I am no longer the richest man in town? You have the goal to call me Monty? Hi, Professor. I wanted to see how you're enjoying your newfound fame and wealth. He hasn't invested in deodorant, I can tell you that much. Well, the first 10 million went to pay off student loans. Well, maybe it's time to take care of yourself now. What are the things that you've always wanted? Oh, let's see. I've always wanted one of those pens with the four different colors. Do they make a silencer for his constant nasal whistle? Mo, Lisa has offered to pay my bar tab. You do accept Frink coin, right? I'll accept any currency except the Albanian lek. So, are you happier? No, no. I got everything I wanted, even the pen, but I'm... I'm so sad. You should have seen poor Professor Frank, Dad. Dad, you should take Professor Frank to Moe's. Oh, I can't do that. It's like having your mother's sisters come for a visit. Actually, they're coming in 20 minutes. Taking Frank to Moe's. Name a drink made from hops and barley. Uh, hey guys, I was wondering if my friend Professor Frank and I could join you. Sir? Oh, it's sir now, is it? Not Monty or Queen Bee? <laughs> no, sir. And I really appreciate the long, healthy walk from my new parking spot. Uh, sir, to make you the wealthiest man in town again, I've assembled a team of the greatest mathematicians and cryptographers to ever leave their rooms. They're here to develop... Burns coin. So here are the programmers working on your currency. We'll get this, Marty. I, I mean, I'm a sick man, sir. I'll get help. Wayland, I think what you're doing comes out of anger. Does anyone have any thoughts about how Wayland can approach these feelings? Well, I learned in dealing with Bruce Willis that. Oh! I'm sorry. Whenever I see his name, I expect a phone to be thrown at me. Mm. I just got a text. Anyone here who works for Mariah Carey, meet her at Soul Cycle and bring a kitten. Now! <laughs> if you're poor and find yourself outside the door, just ask me to buy your drink. I'm hanging with the Frank. Miss Frank has been gold peacocking all over town. What's taking you, Slide Rule Charlie, so long? We aren't able to create a cryptocurrency as powerful as the Frank coin, but. This equation, if solved, could make all digital coins worthless, including Frank's. Excellent. How long will it take to solve? Well, if we work weekends and bring in some extra help, I'd say 90,000 years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Get out. Ah, ah. 
<laughs> As for Frink, if I can't break his bank, I'll break his spirit. Ahoy, ahoy. Now he's in the neighborhood and thought we might have a drink. You know, billionaire to billionaire. Oh, I just love champagne that's been in space, don't you? Well, think about this, Professor. The curse of wealth is that you will never, ever again know if anyone truly likes you. Oh, my. Could it be that they're... Well, they're really just leeches? I'm just so unbelievably sad. I mean, is he right? Do I really have no true friends? Don't worry about what Mr. Burns says. He's a vicious old viper who knows nothing of the human heart. Here's my plan, Smithers. We put the equation here, and the ingenuity of crowds will solve it for us by tomorrow, thus rendering all cryptocurrency worthless. Uh, at least it's not another billboard complaining about crimes I haven't solved. All my life, I believed in the scientific method. I need proof that my friends actually are <coughs> uh, uh, friends. You see, the skybox wasn't available, so I got regular tickets. Oh, that reminds me. I need to have a cyst removed. All right, now, now, the experiment is not yet complete. Let's just see here. <laughs> so, this time, would one of you be so kind as to, uh... Yo, it outsmarts old guild. Go! Ooh, hot, 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 cha-cha! Oh, thank God you woke me. I was having a terrible dream. This problem has been speared in the head, hauled on the deck, and sliced up the guts. Uh, mathematically speaking. I am the richest man in a town of 32,000 people. And so the equation was solved. Solved by the one person who could solve it. Professor John Frink. End of report. How did you know? Well, you really understand me, young lady. You are my best friend, Lovick. Oh, really? Well, beware. I lose everything I care about. Ugh, ten glorious days of peace. I was able to finish my dissertation. Losing a billion dollars means nothing as long as I see you again. <laughs> <laughs>